Dasha was so kind enough to help us out tonight. Yay, Dasha! Thank you. <laughs> She's a very cool girl that I know absolutely nothing about. We know each other's souls, actually. Deep, deep Deeply. Enough. Deep enough. But, um, how was everybody's weekend? Good. It was lunch? pretty chill. Pretty Got chill. some sun, tanned, painted, you know. I browned. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time. If y'all don't know, I'm from Nashville, so a lot of my friends came back home for Easter weekend, and we got to, uh, should probably put that on by <laughs> uh, A lot of my friends came home for the weekend, so it was just, you know, really, really, really fun. Just kicking it, getting shwaysed and other things. Kicking it. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's all about baby gets his birthday, you know? Baby what? Jesus. Okay, Justin. Uh, if we don't have any sound online, I'm sorry. Find the find TV. Wish we looked pretty. Anybody know sign language? No? We can I have Maddie reenact every single Just thing that we talk call. about. Sex! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly oh, yeah. how it's done. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You have a good weekend, Dasha? Yeah, I mean, my dad was here, so I took him to oh. Lonnie's, though. So, oh, really? Yeah, he took a video of me and my friends singing karaoke. Were you guys in Dasha? great. Only slightly, but I mean, my dad's yeah. Russian, so he's, he's oh. yeah, he's, he knows how to drink. Absolutely. That's cool. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so, uh, do, do you know Yuri, by the way? He's the only Russian guy I know. Just like, mm. <laughs> Same question. Anyways. Anyway, so today's topic is about the Vanderbilt hookup culture, slash sex culture, or however it else you want to define it. Um, but not relationship culture. Now, what I've realized is that there's a kind of a sharp dichotomy at Vanderbilt. And by dichotomy, I mean it could be a tri or quad dichotomy, but. <laughs> I never know what he's talking about. <laughs> but, it's, it's okay, okay, like, most of the villain hookup culture you hear about is the one that Franny Borrow put on blast with CNN News, saying that, you know, girls go out, party, guys go out, party, look for a one night hookup to have a good time, get your, get your nuts off. Or but I'm better than get that. Your, get your, get your, get your cater off for that night, and not really looking at something deeper or more meaningful, unless that happens to come, come about. But um, I've also talked to other friends who are like, I've never really experienced that culture before. And those friends happen to be the ones that aren't too involved with like the creep lifestyle here at, here at Vanderbilt. Mm. And then I've also <laughs> have friends that aren't involved in the primary Greek lifestyle that still have experience with hookup culture too in another subculture at Vanderbilt. Mm. But there, so. I mean, <laughs> there are Greek people who don't partake in that culture. I mean, of course. I, I don't mean to over... Can you yeah. give a wide view? I, I need to stay on me for so long. Like, anyway, it's all about just. Um, I mean, I mean that, 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 is, that is true. There are... I'm not trying to overlump everybody or overgeneralize anything in particular, but 
at the same time, the trends are what the trends are. Yeah. Your word choice is very interesting. <laughs> I'm not going to overlump anyone. <laughs> I mean, I think even for people looking for relationships, like within the Greek system, they think that the way to get into a relationship is to hook up with somebody first. Oh. Valid point. That's interesting. <laughs> I have witnessed that, seen that. It's very true. Watch that, that for a long time. Hours. Yes. <laughs> Standing up for houses. Yeah. <laughs> Just dancing no, 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 right no. in front I of you. Love, I love eye spying on the frat houses. It's hot <laughs> as fuck in here, by the way. Like. Justin just complaining today oh, again. I'm dying. I'm actually like sweating right now. I'm sorry, I can leave. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> but uh, so I'm gonna focus on the prominent hookup sex culture here, which is the one that Franny Boral has so kindly put on blast. I just love how the legacy just lives oh, on. Franny. Franny. Good old, Did she graduate? Good old, see, Franny graduated last year. She ran year, away. I feel like. <laughs> yeah. Maybe even the year before last. I'm like sure everyone started through. hating her. I think it was last year. I don't remember exactly. Either way, is the one that well, like, if you're single, then you're single and you mingle, for lack of better words. Yes. And yes. My Very curiosity wise. is, I've been to other colleges, and I've seen similar cultures there too. So I'm not gonna act like it's unique to Vanderbilt, but. It seems to be much more widely accepted at Vanderbilt. I feel like there are a lot of very promiscuous mm. people here. Yeah. I mean, and not necessarily, not necessarily with sex, but with just any any kind of hooking up. Like, when there there are girls. Up, well, I'm okay. So honestly, long argument. Yeah, I originally would have argued that hooking up is like requires removal of clothing. Okay. So. I disagree. Yeah, some people <laughs> say making out I is think that out. anything, yeah, like starting at making out, like I would say I would I, I disagree. disagree, I disagree. I think yeah. you have to have some kind of. Sex. Like, I, I, I don't think that you can say, oh, she hooked up with, with, my, with, my, with my best friend, F her, if it's a make out, that doesn't have the same significance or the same <laughs> weight as if she fucked my best friend, you know? That's yeah, but I feel like you have to say like she hooked up with him and then like, I, I will yeah. elaborate now yeah. on what happened. Um, they got together. Like, light hooking up is like any kind of sexual simulation. And then like, for me, if I say hooking up, I'm talking about like sex. Yeah. See, I've learned to assume when someone says hooking up that making out is included in that. Yeah. Because, I mean, like at home, it would just be like, oh, like I made out with him. And if it went really? farther than a make out, it was that's a hookup. Really I feel like See, making I'm out like with carries so much more weight than like hooking or Hooking up carries way. more weight than making out. I, I put the like same a way. drunken like kiss, and yeah. now you're like, oh my god, they hooked up. Yeah, no, yeah, people there. refer to it like that here all the time. In the, in the bag. But, I mean, uh, <laughs> not liquor in the bag. But no, what I'm saying is like, I, I feel like when most people say they hooked up with somebody, they're generally thinking of more than make out. Because if you if you're talking to your friends and say, yeah, I, I tend up to with disagree them. because there are a lot of people I've heard from here and I, they talk about hooking up with people all the yeah. time and then it turns out they're just Seen making out. For yeah. A yeah. DFMOs. Yeah. What is the other thing? DFMOs. I think that was some what people that? define it as is OTS, DFMOs, <laughs> over the shoulder, dance for make out. I think that might be one of the big things there is being horizontal. Like, I feel like if a girl made out with a guy at a frat party while dancing with the dance floor, I I'm mean, say that. I've, seen, that I've seen some people almost horizontal on the dance floor. That's true. Floor. I think people would say that. Okay, we're at a very strange disagreement here. <laughs> Don't act like you guys are having a statement. I thought we were at least going to agree on that point. But, um, so what is your definition of hooking up? Call uh, and let us know. Significant stimulation. <laughs> of what? Ooh. <laughs> uh, maybe genital areas. Maybe some nipple too. Yeah. Not insignificant <laughs> stimulation. <laughs> okay, but despite what we're defining as hooking up or I sexual activities, what's the what's the cause of the prominence at Vanderbilt? Not just the prominence, Literally, like I said, because like I've I've been to like UT Knox, visited my friends at Rhodes, other universities, Popular. and they they all have you know promiscuity. Promiscuity? I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, He's promiscuity. just making up words today. <laughs> but uh, the key thing is here, though, is that it's like widely accepted more so mm. than at other schools. It widely is. accepted in what? 
Well, I mean, it depends. It depends on how how much you're doing it. I mean, like. There is a little bit of overboard. It also kind of depends on like what circle you're in, too. Any kind of hint of an assumption that you're doing anything, and it's like they even hook up. It's like, oh, she's a hoe, and it's not accepted at all. Like you cannot even like go to a guy's room without. Now this might be different because I don't know how y'all are now, you freshmen and sophomores and some juniors. I don't know, but I feel like then the black community is different. I will say that's true. At the black community, it is quite different. But the black community also is in a prominent culture here at Vanderbilt. Right. And we're very much lesser in numbers. So it's almost like... Not worth mentioning? No, I'm not saying, I'm not, saying <laughs> not worth mentioning. I'm saying it's, it's so different. Because what it is is that since the black community is so small... Everybody that knows. you're constantly oh, stepping damn. on toes. Everybody already knows everybody's <laughs> business. And there's no... Yeah, it's, just, it's just different, to say the least. Somebody sees you leaving somewhere every time. <laughs> There's no discretion. Like, just heads up. At Bye. the same time, <laughs> so many people Learn get so me. caught up and concerned about freshman and sophomore year shenanigans, but that they the end up doing in their math, senior year and thinking nobody knows. That wasn't what I was going for at all. Actually. That's where I was going. Just shot my point in the head. Sorry. What I was saying, <laughs> so many people get so caught up in freshman and sophomore year shenanigans, reputations, and all that. When the point of the matter is, by the time you're a junior or a senior, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. About what happened freshman year. Yeah. A flying fuck. You don't remember what happened so true. freshman yep. year. So true. Yeah. Which I say <laughs> For to all, which, I, which, which I said like several times on the show, if you're a freshman, have fun. Do you have fun. Nobody's going to fucking remember what happened. No, don't do you. Do everyone you know. Right. <laughs> 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 Unless you, really that girl. Girl. Unless you like become like that girl. girl. Yeah, don't become that like, girl. Like, I still remember that girl I from too. freshman year. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Even if you remember that girl, only that a girl quarter, has by, by, by the time that you're a senior, only a quarter of the people remember you for being that girl. But then you can well, only that with that girl people. transfers. <laughs> you're right. That's very right. So, they transfer and just take on a whole new persona. Like, I was never that girl in my old school. But yes, you were. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Took a strong shot. All right. But, uh, so what's the, what's the reasoning for the tip-top culture? I, I feel like it's our and age. And that strong like, acceptance of it. I feel like it's the age. Like, yeah. there's a lot of people here, um, I mean, compared to where I'm from anyways, that have... They come from a much more conservative lifestyle. Now they're kind of like free to kind of like experiment with things. And they're like, oh my God, I can make out with three guys in one yeah. night and no one's going to care. Yeah. Well, Let's do it. Like, here, though. That's well, and I, I think it's something that's also not going to, it, it can't just go away because when freshmen come in and they're like introduced to that culture, then they think that that's what they're supposed to do. Like to impress a guy, that's what a girl has to do. Or for like a guy to look cool, that's what he has to do. So it's just like, it's not something that can be phased out. Mm -hmm. True enough. I think that's a big thing there is that the whole thing that a lot of Vandy students come from a shelter lifestyle. Yep. And they come from All a place where they shit. didn't they didn't drink a lot of alcohol in high school, if if any. They didn't have any sex in high school, uh, that much sex, if, <laughs> if, if any. You know, maybe like they had a senior, junior year boo thing where they finally gave it up to. Boo thing. Nothing like, <laughs> not like slurring out or anything. So by, so by the time you're, you're like 200 plus miles away from home, Unlimited freedom, alcohol at your disposal at any frat party. Yeah, so shit, 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 shit is crazy. Oh my God, can we talk about like the alcohol regulations of frats? Can we figure out what's going on. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, but also just the fact that we're at like a, a I, don't, I don't know if I call it a high stress school, but like academics are big, mm -hmm. and so you want to play hard and work hard. Yeah, I know that, but and I like feel play like play hard and. But it's it also hard. kind of like a lot of people because of that don't want the stresses of being tied down in an exactly. actual relationship, but you kind of want the benefits of not, like, of, I mean, yeah. you know, about that. yeah, you right. want to be physically and sexually active, but you don't want to have to deal with someone that you have to talk to and call every day and feel <laughs> obligated to, you know, the whole, like, long distance thing that I'm sure half the freshmen are dealing with right now. Yeah, and will not be dealing with. In about two months, <laughs> guarantee you. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that completely. I feel like uh, the high stress environment is the key factor that separates 
the acceptability part. Because, like I said, I see people hooking up all the time at other schools, but then I also see them lying about See, but it. two, then you got to go the other way. Like, I mean, we're Vanderbilt, but we're not Harvard. And I doubt you see this at Harvard. I would really? beg to differ. Really? Yeah. I don't think you see it. I mean, I think that, like, we pride ourselves on being, like, a party school and having the most mm -hmm. fun. So that's, like, in a way, like, a reputation that people want to uphold. True. That, too. But also, like, I talk to my friends that are in, like, medical school or are involved with friends that go to medical school. And they say that the girls in medical school are really not looking for a relationship necessarily. Is that why you're applying to med school? <laughs> 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 like what I, what, I, what I heard was that they're literally looking for you know somebody to satisfy their sexual needs, and they're so focused on their schoolwork and on getting through medical school, and that's what their main focus is at that point. Multitasking. If they yeah. if, if they if they happen to find somebody during those four years that you know they will see themselves starting down with, then great. But if not, that's not their main focus. So yeah. I would assume that's the same at Ivy League school too. <laughs> But I don't know. I mean, that's fair. I don't have too many friends that go to Harvard, so I can't say. They're it. also uglier than we are, so. That's true, too. Vanderbilt <laughs> has a unique thing of having the attractive girl. So. Okay, so what are the implications of I this? I hate that question. What does that mean? <laughs> Is that a serious question? I've actually had that question on essays and shit before. What are the implications of this? What the fuck does that mean? The <laughs> Well, I thought that Rephrase asking the question. about the implications of an activity or five. anything okay. is self-explanatory, but <laughs> what is the falling out? What are the effects of this cause? So Why can't you just say that? Because I can Wait, just so say one word and get all that in there with that one word. Why would I make it 20 words? I've been dating them one. Anyways. What are the yeah. effects of... Um, this hookup culture this we have at Vanderbilt. What are the implications? What are the pros, the cons? What are we, what are we really None. dealing with here? There's no pros and I no feel cons. like very few of us get pregnant. Very, I don't know about people getting STDs, but very few people get pregnant. Oh, I'm and everyone sure they... Everyone's happy and goes on. Like, but I mean, I, I think it does. Fulfilled. I for some, that, pe I for some people, I think it can cause like self-esteem issues. So. Okay. I would like say that completely, yeah. And I think there's more than sexual activity than just STDs and pregnancy. You know? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of emotion for some people that is involved <laughs> with sex. Well, then they should go to Harvard or somewhere else. Well, not even I can get into Harvard or somewhere else. Well, they should go to UT Knox. Well, not even I want to go to UT Knox. <laughs> and I don't think anybody yeah. bases their college decision on how sex. much sex they can get. I'm just kidding. You fucking whore. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm honestly, like, I mean, like, there are, I feel like there are a lot of implications that can evolve from this. I mean, for one, the traditional Southern college experience involves the girl coming to college and finding a husband. Yeah. Which a lot of parents who send their children to these southern schools expect that to happen. Currently? Yeah. Well, I mean, even, yeah. Even, even, even in 2012, that does not because the me. parents of 2012 are the college students of 1970s yeah. and 80s. That's stupid. Which, and the, and, the, and, the, and the grandparents of 2012s are the people who grew up in the 40s and 50s. Like, this is, this is it's not that far removed yet. I think a lot of girls come to college, like, thinking that they're gonna find some dream guy and dream boyfriend and then like first week of school they like hook up with some senior who tells them they're pretty and they're like oh my god we're gonna get married and like the next day like he's like out doing the same thing with somebody else in front of her and like that like repeatedly I think definitely like probably gets some girls down. I, 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 I agree completely and no that's not just limited to guys doing girls wrong. I mean, it can happen the other way other way too, you know. You can have a guy who generally comes here mm -hmm. thinking that he's going to find a very nice girl. You know, he meets a girl drunk at a frat party. I mean, they're both drunk. They're talking. He thinks that this is the girl of his dreams and, you know, she, they wind up hooking up that night. And How he's often thinking, does that happen? It's happened to me thousands of times. <laughs> <laughs> still looking for the girl right now. Right? It's, this I'm sure that's why you take those girls back to your room, Dustin. <laughs> you are my future special. wife. I, I do. I Preparing know. for her wedding night. I am. I am a. I'm not just in heart, it okay? for. Like, Damn, it's just a nut. Oh, do you, please. Do you pretend you're a virgin anything? every time. I don't. You I feel don't like know. a virgin. I, I, I feel like a virgin every time. Because I feel like even though. I feel like it's for the very first time. I feel like it's the first time with you. It's so. It's so special to me. Yeah. Nobody else holds that kind of value. Where are you that holds that kind of value? Justin, <laughs> you are the most. He's looking kind of girls to cut off. Don't listen to him. <laughs> He's just looking.
looking for someone watching the show to come and like, oh hey, I, who wants to hook up tonight? He's well, it's been a week, no, Justin. Come on. What do you What do you guys think of like this like senior like creepy seniors who are like. That like, end up, end up like, or no, no, I was thinking like the guys that like, yeah, like that hook up with freshmen, like the first week I of think school. Do you know. think that that's like, yeah, like they should totally, you know, like new me, they should be able to do that, or is that just like creepy? Um, <laughs> honestly, for me, as a, I'm, a, I'm a senior, if I could be on you this probably first hand, I do not condone stalking freshmen or creeping on freshmen, but if at you the same to come time, one. if you happen to come across one though, like that's if you're bad. if you're drunk at a frat party and there's some girl that's all over you. And you don't know that she's a freshman from the they jump, or if you find out she's a freshman when you're blackout drunk, shit happens. That's what I'm saying for that. I mean, okay. But you don't think you should like, go like, after a freshman and shit, like... No, like, if your main goal... If the, if the, yeah, sorry. If the main reason why you signed up for the Vanderbilt Move Crew is so that you can meet the freshman a week before everybody else, Ooh. We have some problems. Yeah, we, we have some issues there. <laughs> Dude, honestly, you know, you're really definitely a creeper. Of taking a freshman's virginity is weird and awkward and just confusing, mm -hmm. and doesn't and, and it doesn't go away. And neither and neither does the she. So wait till the sophomores. <laughs> yeah, in a nutshell, wait till wait, wait, wait till the sophomores. Yeah. Do that many girls really come to college virgins? I, I think a lot of people too. And a lot of people do. Really? And, a lot of, and a lot of people got from college still virgins too. Like if you like. I was, yeah, I was surprised when I came here to find out how many people were still. Well, virgins. I think a lot of girls that come to college virgins are really likely to leave as virgins because That's they come true. to college, all they, they can find are random hookups, and they don't want to like lose it to somebody that they're not like kind of serious about because they're like, I've waited this long, like. Yeah, I might as well. Yeah. True. But then again, a lot of girls come to college virgins and find somebody to lose it to. Say virgins. I, I <laughs> but when they, when they, when they find you lose it though, shit gets real. That's what I'm saying with that. So I'm saying though, don't I hold on that. to your virginity like it's something that precious, okay? Don't put your virginity on a pedestal. Just come see Justin. <laughs> He'll take care of that for you. <laughs> so to be honest, like, I feel like unless you're really thinking about saving it till marriage or saving it at least until like true love. Well, that's the thing. A lot of these girls are. Like, cause well, you get and, they, and then they go through this. Well, at least, at least they want to save it. I feel like a lot of girls want to save it for somebody they trust at least. Because like, for guys, like the first time it's like, oh, like two seconds, that felt so good. I'm going to go like eat now. <laughs> for girls, <laughs> like, so for, girl, for, for girls, the first time it's like, ow, oh, like my vagina hurts. It sucks. <laughs> like, I want to cry. You can't do that with like somebody like, random. not good. <laughs> Yeah, or like, or like, this isn't working. I don't understand what is in me. Like, you know, so it's <laughs> are we broken? <laughs> what? Anyways. <laughs> well, I, that's, that's, that's a very valid point, though. But at the same time, <laughs> got my point. Damn, I had to go into. And it's just okay. Right. It's just right. But yeah, um. That's just right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we went over a few of the implications here, but here's the thing that I'm always interested about is when the girl or guy that you thought was going to be a random hookup, and after y'all hook up continuously for a long time, and then shit start getting a little bit more real. Real. Wait. What's your is question? That part of the <laughs> hookup culture, though? Like, like, I feel like that's atypical. Like, are there? Are, I mean, I don't think that's atypical. I think a lot of people like hook up for a while. Yeah. And then they and wind then, up like, becoming progress into serious. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, occasionally. Yeah. I wonder, like, what kind of implications is that for like your uh, relationship? I mean, it depends. It depends on the person. It, yeah, it really depends on the person. For some people, it's kind of going to define their relationship. For other people, that's just how they met, and then they end up being crazy about each other. Mm -hmm. So, Very sure. Very sure. Fair. other people, they start hooking up, and they know the reason they're just hooking up and not together is because that's yeah. not anyone they want to do that with. Don't want to deal and with I'm their sure, crap. like for some people who are more insecure when they start dating, they can like resent the other person for hooking up with other people before, like, yeah. No now here's something I have noticed. Uh, we were talking about a lot of people that have come into college and leave college still, still virgins, and that speaks to the dichotomy that I was talking about early, earlier. With you know, you have 
one subculture at Vanderbilt that really that's not really the issue at all, and then another subculture that it's not that uncommon to see. Like I have, I hang out with a lot of my Kimmy friends, and when I go to their pre games, I don't, ex- I don't expect the girls that are there to, you know, to be all over you, to be down for the night. I mean, they're still <laughs> all over me, of course. I'm me. Can we but get a Kimmy to call on and at the same that? time though? I don't expect them, to, you know, necessarily be down for the night. Aren't there a lot of Malaysian Kimmys? There's a lot of Malaysian <laughs> in general. Uh, Are they? They're they're not in BME. I'm, Malaysian, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. They're probably some of the freakiest, horniest girls you ever met. They all Are you over serious? you. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's no. not true. No, I'm serious. <laughs> so serious. Like, no, you have you experience. So what is a specific experience that you okay. had that suggests that? Tell me, tell me about your Malaysian experience. Right? Well, a gentleman does not, you know. No, 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 no. You are the least gentlemanly person right. I know. That's nice. I'm, I'm a little bit offended by that. I After I'm, Madeline, you are the least gentlemanly <laughs> yes. person. I'm, a, I'm, I'm slightly offended. You can be offended. Madeline was like a sexual care. predator, but after that. <laughs> <laughs> But no, really though, I don't have any, uh, M- Malaysians are great people. Indeed. Great horny people, apparently. I love that question. But, um... <laughs> I was reading, I was reading. But no, really though, uh, I really hope that This show just took a such a right? weird turn. It's not real. Malaysians, and the, we sh- you guys should do like a whole like segment on like Malaysians and the Vanderbilt hookup culture that Justin can yeah, just I'm, talk I'm, about. I'm pretty sure that does not exist. <laughs> well, you're saying <laughs> apparently it does. <laughs> you know? Wow, wow. Very true. But uh, yeah, I have, I have one more solid point to make here before we wind up. Uh, well, the solid point I want to make is if you want to hook up with someone, hook up with someone because it doesn't care, like you said. <laughs> Two years down the road. Two years down the road, what happens with that? Like, do like not live here. scared of what people are going to say, or else you're just not going to live ever. So fuck who you want to fuck, and deal with it, and have fun. Take don't get it. pregnant, don't get STDs, <laughs> and then you'll be fine. You'll See, and all you have to do, beautiful. if you don't want to be known as a slut, all you have to do is keep things on the DL. That's like, hard to do. No, that's hard to That is not hard, hard to do. All you gotta do is you are point. not a sophomore, or you're not a junior or senior, you're automatically fucking someone. Easily. Like, it is hard to know. It's hard. Hence why we but see, but no one has to know. Because everyone else is in class. So, like, is or what you do is you wake up at 6 in the morning and leave. And you look like you're... And no one is awake at that time. There's more important thing here we got to talk about. And that's the one thing is about (laughs) the the significance of head for sex, which I find utterly amazing how... What the hell does that do with that? Wait, what is... You find head utterly amazing? No, no, I wasn't saying either or the What I find utterly amazing is the fact... You're kind of fucking... Right? <laughs> anyway, I was saying, like, like literally though, because I know a lot of girls that think that if I give head to twenty guys in one year, it's not that big She's of a deal. A but if I, if I if I fuck twenty guys, then it is. I'm saying. Can we? How just, does I actually think it's the other way around for a lot of girls. I know a lot of girls who'd like have sex with a guy before, before giving them head because that's like I'm putting kinda, themselves down see, for like. I don't know. I know, a lot, I, I know a lot of. Like? I know a lot of black um, girls that are like that. That like they would have sex with a lot of guys when they give head, but most white girls that I know, head is like casual, really? and sex is like. I don't know. I've talked to a lot of girls. I don't. Like, you're you're like, talking. Yeah. I don't, you're just talking girls to a specific talk to? group of white girls. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've met quite a varying amount. Yeah, one minute. So guys, yeah, we have one minute. Mm. So. <laughs> I'm sad to say that this is going to be our second to last episode of Sex or X. And y'all season. didn't call in not once. Shame so on y'all. Next week will be the last episode. Fuck y'all. I believe that we're going to talk about uh, advanced oral sex techniques to finish it can off. Can we just do it general? Just or we can get to whatever. No, we're going to do what the fuck we want to do. It's our last show. We don't go yeah. far. We're just going to talk about everything and anything. Call in. Please call in. But, um, we'll think you hate us. It's been a pleasure. Really They're graduating. That's scary. Like the grill up, the chill night's gone. Feel it a little time to watch <laughs> another storm and let the good time sit. in the playlist from Skinner <laughs> to hits from Dylan mixed with the Miller, the Guinness, the Goose in the cellar down by the river when no one used to watch us take ill. Like having a shot of anything that made our worlds become sicker down by the lawn with the stones. The lights still on, stay in the cold in my zone. My night's still young, calling my phone is my two friends who just came quick, laughing and thinking about the plans we made to take more risks. So we were hopping off ideas, knew we had to get big We should get the band together for tonight and just gig Hang over, sit back and enjoy the day And I know, I know, I know And I know, I know, I know And I'll say
Like the grill.